This is the ultimate off-road RV. It is the GXV Hilt by Storyteller Overland. Now this is a prototype and it's the only one of its kind right now. And today we're gonna kind of give you our first impressions of it, but we'll show you some of the cool features it has to offer. This video is sponsored by Storyteller Overland. As incredible as this Expedition vehicle is on the outside, I wanna show you what's inside first. Now I'm gonna start up front. This is a queen size cab over bed. And what's really nice about this is you have windows on either side of the bed, as well as at the head of the bed, and then storage on both sides with outlets so you can charge all of your devices while you're sleeping or just reading in bed. Just next to the bed is a control panel, and this is a full touchscreen control panel. And then down here, you have the ladder up into the bed with the pass-through into the cab. Now this ladder does stow away, and then you can access the cab from inside your camper. Just have to make sure you put the seat down. And there's a pretty nice sized wet bath in here. In the bathroom, there's a small vent, little storage cubby, a 4.6 gallon cassette toilet, sink, and mirror. In the kitchen, or actually in the hilt altogether, there are cabinets all around, and they have these hidden latches on the back. And in the kitchen itself, you have this large window. So that was the nightshade, bug screen. This comes down and then the awning style windows that fold outward. Here is the two burner induction stove. There's a power outlet here with inductive charging. Stainless steel sink. And what's cool about this is, this is your water for washing dishes, hands, stuff like that. And then this is the guzzle H2O system. So it's a water filter and UV purifier. There's also four large cabinets in the kitchen area, plus a full-size trash can. Across from the kitchen area is the refrigerator. There's an isotherm stainless steel fridge with a very nice sized freezer. Above the refrigerator is a convection oven, microwave. And then this is a hanging closet and both of the shelves in the closet do fold up and out of the way. Adam and I are sitting in the dinette area and this is also the second bed. So you can drive four adults up in the crew cab and then there is sleeping for at least four people. So you have the queen bed cab over and then this converts into a queen bed by bringing the uh, cushions together and this table goes away. But I mean, there's plenty of room in here. You could seat about six people at least comfortably. And then you have these big windows all the way around for ventilation, as well as two vents front and back to get that air out. But if you're out camping and it's super hot, there is ducted AC and there are a couple of ducts just above this bed or dinette area. With this off-road RV, you might be wondering how you power the whole house portion of this. Well, let's start with the battery system. There are 16,800 watt hours of usable battery power. This is being charged by 1,325 watts of solar on the roof, as well as a secondary alternator on the engine that charges while you're driving. All of this from the battery system is fed through dual 3,000 watt inverters. So that's powering all your plugs. You can run the AC off of your battery system. And this AC is gonna run all night long, no problem. Now let's get into tank sizes. There's 125 gallons of fresh water and 45 gallons of gray water, along with the 4.6 gallon cassette toilet I showed you earlier. The shell of the Hilt is a two-piece composite box. Now this is all built on top of a Ram 5500 with the diesel engine. One of the coolest features of the Hilt is the liquid spring suspension. And I'm gonna let Adam, their VP of R&D, explain it. Hydraulic suspension, um, and it uses struts and reservoirs to control the volume of compressible fluid in each wheel or each strut. The pump um, is what will control the height of each individual wheel and then it has what's called rate valves that are controlling the 
volume of fluid that is able to compress. So with a compressible fluid, when you have more volume, it's softer. When you reduce that volume, it becomes stiffer. I can feel it working. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, always, it's always working. Um, it's looking at ride height um, of e each wheel has a ride height sensor. It's watching brake input, throttle input, steering input, and it has an accelerometer. So when um, it's using all of those to decide uh, what to do with each individual wheel. Okay. And it's making decisions a thousand times, a thousand hertz, um, and pulsing the valves. At the front of this expedition vehicle, there is a nice large bumper, 20,000 pound winch, KC highlights in the front, as well as above the cab. On the driver's side, there's an exterior lockable storage bay, water cabinet with shower, and then a pass-through storage bay. Invader storage racks on the back, and there will be a full-size spare when they ship these. Now the spare will sit in here and there is a winch that will bring the tire up and down because that tire does weigh 280 pounds. There are two more locking storage bays on the passenger side, and on the roof, there is a roof rack with eight LED light bars around the perimeter. All right, everyone's favorite topic, price. The GXV Hilt by Storyteller Overland is going to come in around $400,000. Now, this is just a first impression. We've only had this for about an hour and a half. We got to drive it out here, take a quick look around. But if y'all are interested in a more detailed walkthrough, let us know down in the comments below. And when we can wrestle this away from the Storyteller crew, We'll do just that for you. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite feature of the Hilt was, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. My second book, Tales from the Open Road, The Adventures and Misadventures of RV Living, is now available for sale on Amazon. Read all about the ups and downs of our first year and a half living on the road full time.